So I may have talked before about uh, being a hairy uh, son of a gun, you know, being incredibly hairy and weird and, uh, and you know, just uh, generally very furry. And, um, and, you know, it's weird being this hairy when, like, everyone else around me is, isn't as hairy as me. And people have said, like, maybe I have uh, Neanderthal genes, I guess. <laughs> Uh, first of all, I'm not sure how you pronounce Neanderthal. Some people say Neanderthal and Joe Rogan says Neanderthal and uh, people tend to think Joe Rogan's an idiot, but he's he's an expert in, in this. So I'm gonna stick to Joe Rogan. Don't hate me though. So a percentage of the population does have Neanderthal genes inside of them. Whether or not like they look like a Neanderthal, I don't know, but people do carry DNA traits of having Neanderthal in them. Look, I don't know who, <laughs> that means somebody back in the day uh, banged a Neanderthal. Maybe a nice young, uh, a normal looking lady banged a Neanderthal really thick and strong man. I don't know, like Neanderthals are like stocky and strong and they're like they can really do a lot of damage and and have a lot of fun. Uh, and I imagine that a nice young uh, homo sapien lady would um, like to get banged by a Neanderthal. Look, I don't judge. Pe everyone's the same, man. Listen, who knows if Neanderthals existed today, maybe I'd be dating and banging a Neanderthal myself. But uh, wait, what does a Neanderthal even look like, actually? So, yeah, no, they look uh, very strange. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I can't imagine being at a bar and then, like, a Neanderthal, like, trying to hit on a girl, being like, hey, how's it going? And his, like, giant nose and protruding brow and incredibly rough skin <laughs> would uh, really uh, attract a nice uh, homo sapien lady. But... Stranger things have happened, man. Giant Great Danes have banged little cute chihuahuas, you know, to make uh, uh, some godforsaken mess of a dog. So let's go through the traits and see if you or I have any Neanderthal DNA in our blood. All right, let's see. Okay, number one. Occ oh, I can't even read that word. <laughs> Occipital bun. It's a knot of rounded bone at the back of the Neanderthal skull. It may have been an adaptation for the attachment of their massive neck and jaw muscles. I do have like a little dick thing in the back of my head that kind of protrudes, but I don't know if that's what they're talking about. I'm looking at it here and it sort of does feel like that. So, okay, that's one DNA trait. Okay, number two, elongated skull. And there's a picture of uh, Captain Picard on here. I wouldn't be surprised. He does look like a fucking Neanderthal. He looks... He's got a giant fucking head and a huge nose. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, definitely doesn't have the brain of the Neanderthal because he is a very diplomatic and uh, reasonable person. But he's also an actor, so he must be an idiot. Okay. Modern human faces tend to be small and tucked into the lower... Half of the head under a rounded brain case. Neanderthal face tends to be larger with a brain case set in a longer skull. Uh, okay, I don't know. Let's look. Is this elongated? It just looks like a fucking head. Let's look at this. So I don't really, I don't know if I have a, an elongated skull. I just look like I have a, like a big fucking head. Okay. Base behind the wisdom teeth. Neanderthals had jaws large enough to comfortably house all their teeth. Even having a gap behind the wisdom teeth. I'm not going to show you the inside of my mouth, but yeah, no, I don't think I have this because I, I was only born with one wisdom tooth and, and I don't know, that's, I definitely don't have it. Okay. So this I definitely have, it's called a supra orbital ridge or bro brow ridge. The brow ridge is a bony ridge located above the eye sockets of all primates which reinforces the weaker bones of the face. The pronounced brow ridge that the Neanderthal shared with other archaic human species such as Homo erectus shrank when most modern humans evolved but did not disappear entirely. And there's like a picture of like some rugby dude with a gross brow. So I definitely do have this. Look at this. Look how weird this looks. 
don't know if you can see, but I definitely do have a protruding brow. It's really gross. It goes out, it goes inward, and then my nose pokes out. It's weird. I can stick like a dildo in between there and I can walk around comfortably. <laughs> Broad projecting nose. Okay, that's self-explanatory, whatever. I definitely don't have that. Do I? No, I don't. Little or no protruding chin. I, don't have, a, I have a big ass chin. So if you don't have a protruding chin, maybe you're a disgusting Neanderthal. Rosy cheeks. I don't know, when it's cold, I have my face gets red. Maybe, oh my God. Ah, oh, interesting. Wide fingers or thumbs and thumbs. I guess little skinny like pencil fingers. They're not they're like long but like thin. Ooh. I like have like I have like salad fingers. Ugh, that's so weird. Straight thick hair. Um I have really I think I do have really straight hair. <gasps> and it's pretty thick. I do have straight thick hair. That's really interesting. That means I have Neanderthal DNA to thank for not going bald like the rest of my family. Huh. <laughs> Insulating skin. Oh, so so it kind of makes you e uh, adapt to colder environments better. I, I don't know. I can't tell. Fair skin and freckles. No, I definitely don't have that when I, t I tan like a motherfucker. Red hair. Okay. No, I don't have red hair. Uh, large eyes. Are my eyes big? They're okay. They're not too big. I don't know. I need a second opinion. I've been stuck in like lockdown for so long. I haven't really seen any other people. I can't really compare my eye size. Immunity against Eurasian pathogens. I have no fucking idea. Increased risk of type two diabetes. Okay. Increased risk of Crohn's disease. Oh, out to God, I don't have Crohn's disease because uh, I like my bowels intact. <laughs> Increased risk of lupus. So this is like, so now we're getting into like the boring, not real traits, but like more of the insides. Like I have no way of knowing whether or not I have increased risk of lupus. So this is bullshit. Increased risk of biliary cirrhosis. Disease of the liver marked by the slow progressive destruction of the liver's small bile ducts. Difficulty with nicotine addiction. Neanderthals did not. As far as we know, smoke cigarettes, but one of the genes variants passed onto modern Neanderthals is associated with difficulty in trying to stop smoking. Okay, so I have smoked cigarettes, well, a few cigarettes in my life, right? And I, and I never really liked them. I smoked one and I was like, this is gross. I smoked another, I was like, okay, this is gross. The third time, uh, I was like, mm, not bad. But then I never ever got hooked and and as far as I know, I really, really don't like cigarettes. This is really boring. Why the fuck am I talking about this? 20. Increased risk of long-term depression. Okay. I don't know. I tend to get down on shit, but I'm not depressed. So maybe I do have some Neanderthal DNA. Do I have all the traits? No, but I do have maybe three or four, I can't remember. And I hope this was interesting to you so you could learn about whether or not you have Neanderthal DNA. Is there a way to get tested for this DNA? I would like to know. Actually, I wouldn't like to know. I actually don't even really care. But it would explain why I have this giant ridge, this like really pointy nose, all this hair, no one in my family is as hairy as me, by the way. Like everyone is, is most people, they can grow a beard or whatever, but they don't have hair all over their body. And also there's no mention of being really hairy on here. So maybe I'm just hairy for no fucking reason. I'm just hairy because like someone fucked a dog in my lineage at one point and gave birth to a hairy bastard. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe and comment and uh, like and all that stuff. And I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and, and comment below if you think that you have uh, Neanderthal DNA and uh, what you're going to do about it. Are you going to maybe we can form a Neanderthal club and we can finally uh, decide on how the hell we pronounce this stupid word. And uh, Neanderthals are awesome and and maybe all my baby will be a Neanderthal too. And uh, okay, thank you. Goodbye. Uh, kiss my ass. Uh, bye. Okay. <laughs>